All right, my friends, this is my lawn. If you really look here, you can see how green it was right there. But I did a power rake on it. Now, there's all kinds of different ways to do this. I think the Brits use, the people in Britain use scarifiers. There's, I had one of those uh, plugger machines in that punches holes in the lawn. I didn't use that, it was a bit early for me. So my wife and I just did this the last few days. It's a, it's a big yard, right? And the front too. And then we, uh, I'll just show you the blade that we use in a minute. What it does is it just scratches up all the old snow mold and everything from being under the snow for so long. You know, some of our friends in Britain don't have that problem, right? So let me just take you back to the garage. I'll try not to move too fast. Here we are, turn on the light, open the door. And this is not mine. A neighbor and a friend uses this old Briggs and Stratton classic. To do his lawn the same way. And we, if, if you've been around a while, sometimes you use two machines and you never take the blade off. So this blade has a couple of springs on it. See that right there? And those springs scratch up the, scratch up the ground. But you have to be careful because they don't fill up the width of the machine. Eh? <coughs> and that's called, oh, oh, there's some gas coming out of that. That's okay. And that is called, uh, what do we call that? Rotor raking the lawn. And it's, uh, it just roughs it up, gets it ready for next year. Kind of buzzes off the high spots too. So anyway, uh, that's that. And, I, and this, this machine barely runs. And I'll show you why in just a few minutes. I'll get set up and clean that gas up. Okay, let's see if she'll start. The uh, primer bulb is a little sticky. But it's almost like a, the more I use it, the better it gets. So I'll pull it four or five times. It never started yesterday, but I did find out why. So it kind of wants to, eh? So let's just have a look. This is what I found. Look at that. That's, that's mud there. Or such fine dust that it would never draw. See that how it's packed in there? You can even see the designs of the, of the uh, dirt in the filter itself. So now that I've got that off of there, Let's see if it uh, let's see if it starts. Okay, I don't know if I should prime it anymore or not. Oh, you can see the gas squirting in there. Kick okay, it. Here we go. We'll do one more. It's going to be lots. It's going to. I bet if it does start, and I think it will, that'll be and smoke a bit. We have to figure out why he's using this thing, right? It's a, it's a three hour, it's a three hour a year machine. But I'm going to now give it a uh, bath with my pressure washer. I've got a couple of other machines I want to do that to. And uh, oh, you can hear other people doing the same thing out out in the alley. Listen, that's a rotor raker. They have a different sound than a flywheel, so. In the old days, lawnmowers had flywheels like this. This is cast iron. 
it's heavy. I mean, I mean it, you, know, you can see my, my hands are, are working to hold that. Now this is a Tecumseh, but it's no difference. This is a, a more modern uh, flywheel because the blade itself is the flywheel on lawnmowers now. So, on, and another way of, of showing it is this pressure washer does not have a blade, right? It just has a uh, pump underneath it. <clears throat> underneath there. I'll just get you there. There it is. Sorry. So these stationary engines, they call them, have a cast iron flywheel because there's no blade. And in lawnmowers, uh, I don't much, I don't know, this one's a 96. I don't know if they were putting cast iron uh, flywheels on this. This is an older lawnmower. We should just pull the three bolts off and have a look, eh? So just hang on. Let's just see what kind of a flywheel this old classic has. Now I'm not talking about me when we talk about old classics. Yeah, it's an aluminum flywheel. You never know, right? The older ones did. So, it's got new fuel in it, believe it or not. Not much. I spilt a little. And uh, needs an oil change, a bath, an air cleaner. A spark plug clean and an oil change. Coming up next, don't miss it on Bruce's shop. Well, hello, all, hello, all my friend, Bruce here. Well, I took the air filter out of this lawnmower. I put a piece of plastic in underneath the air filter right there and another piece of plastic on the gas tank and now I'm going to power wash this old thing just so that it's not so icky poo poo for me to work on. So now the pressure washer has not been started since last year. I see it's leaking over there. We'll see what the big leak is. Just a connector. Not a problem. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to put some earplugs in. Hang on. Excuse me. <laughs> Feels like the unloader's working. Good, the pressure washer runs good. Now we're going to see if we can start this bad boy up. Just like that, right out of the pressure washer.
Okay, so yesterday I put some glycerin on the uh, primer bulb. Let's see if it's any more flexible. It wouldn't retract right away. Let's see what happens today. Better. Okay, let's start this bad boy up. I'll get a clamp. Because it's got a clean air filter, I just have to change the oil on the plug. I don't even have to sharpen the blade, but I might replace the springs on that uh, aerator. Uh oh, it'll start. Good. Okay, if my memory serves me correctly, the uh the oil spout will be on the opposite side of the lawnmower from here. Let's have a look. Nope, on this side. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'll just get it started. Have a look at it. Just gotta make sure it's not spilling on the table. Nope. Crack the oil a vent, maybe. So now this is one of the little things that you guys might you probably know, but you might not know on the old classics. That's the oil filler hole. You can use a screwdriver. I know, eh? That's just little stuff. You know, all the mechanics out there probably know that one, but the amateur backyard small engine mechanics may not. Okay, we'll just let that drain, and I'm gonna go, uh, now that I got the power washer up, I'm gonna go wash a few other Whoops, a few other mowers. Don't go away. Okay, my friends, let's have a look here. So the reason why I'm filming it is that this is a slightly different setup than most mowers, right? Good. So the oil actually looks pretty good for a 28-year-old lawnmower that just does one job a year, right? Eh? is equivalent to being pressure treated by now. Okay, let's put the plug back in and we got another thing to do before we lower it back down.
Now, these are the springs right here, right there. That's the spring, and it's only what? As long as my thumb, a little longer than my thumb. Hang on. Sorry, Stella. I have a selection of new and used springs. So we're going to just put on a, maybe a, a really good set of used ones on here. We'll get to that in just a minute. Okay, let's just get this blade off of here. Yeah, right, I already checked that. Come on. It should come. You never know though. Good. Okay, this is the setup right here. watching this so to remove these I think this is gonna have to be the one of all of the other ones that these have hooks so like like the one with the bolt there right there and that's not this type so he's getting a new pair Go on like that. You gotta kind of keep track of the orientation. Well, it's a start. Is that right? Look at how much that wore up. Now this side. Same thing. Just a little bit meaner. And I think it should go I guess there's only one way for it to go on. There. Perfect. Okay, let's put it back on the machine and get some oil in it. And then clean the plug and we're there. Ah. Oh. See, it's not centered on the blade adapter. That's a big time bad bad. No, no. Nine, 516s or 9 I think these are 916s. A 
We'll go from the other way, they'll be less beat up. It should be on here. This wasn't centered on there, eh? Good. That's all it takes. That needs a washer, too. And. Okay, hang on. All right. We got the new bolt on. You see this washer here? That centers it on the blade adapter. And now we got the new springs compared to the uh, da, 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 old springs. That's quite amazing, isn't it? I think the owner's going to be amazed. Well, maybe not. And that little round washer holds the blade adapter center onto the blade shaft. Okay, or engine shaft. There you go. Get my hands free just in case that thing starts to spin. Okay, I'm just going to lean it back on the jack a little bit. Perfect. Now, spark plug and oil is the last two things I know of. Two things left. What size of plug is that? RJ19 LM. Yay! Put the oil in it. And we'll check this plug. And the, the throttle cable's a bit wonky, but it works. Usually on these ones you end up hammering the tab down right here. <laughs> well, well Nancy. She's goobered. It'll run better when, uh, when this plug is cleaned up. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to clean it. Okay, we'll let that settle out. And we'll check it just before we start it up the second time. Okay, clean plug. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the wire. Do you guys want to watch? It's just a just a tune up. Goggles. Goggles because these little wires can fly out of there, hey? Eh? First of all, I do it with, with the spark plug tab down. And I go around on the side. I go around on this side. And I make it nice and shiny. And I do it with the tab up. And then come this way. I use a little tiny bit of carb spray. And I got company. Okay, there's our whoop. There's our spark plug. We'll put it in the engine. So it's got new springs on the Thatcher blade. Not Margaret Thatcher blade. It's 
got a clean air filter, spark plug, good oil. I'm just going to check that oil now. Okay, remember this trick, right? Not a trick. I like it. And we are exactly at the full mark. Now, is it going to scratch when it's running? I don't think so. It's just a quarter inch above the uh, grass surface, those springs. And what I mean by that is these springs right here are a quarter inch above the cutting surface. I'm going to lower it down and start it up and then give the owner a call. Should be good. Must have just had a little muffler, a little oil in the muffler. Thanks, guys. It's all done.